November 5th in the year of our Lord 2008 A.D. Barack Obama has now become President of the United States of America the 44th President and it was an historic election there will never be one like it and never has been before the Dow is off 486 points on deepening job worries economic reality and profit taking hand stocks an ugly drubbing despite Barack Obama's election even more selling may come Thursday as Cisco Systems and News Corporation offer weak forecasts the stocks tank today as global economic realities more of an offset the excitement over Senator Barack Obama's election as the next president of the United States of America the Dow Jones Industrials closed down 486 points or 5.1 percent to 9,139 and it is in the numbers too it was the blue chips indexes worst loss on the first day after a presidential election ever yes again ever beating beating a 4.5 percent loss in 1932 after Franklin D. Roosevelt defeated Herbert Hoover. That says something in itself. The Standard & Poor's 500 index was off 53 points or 5.3% to 953 and the Nasdaq composite index was down 98 points or 5.5% to 1000 six hundred and eighty two again it's also in the numbers and part of the pump and part of the market's tumble was due to profit taking taking the money and getting out the Dow had gained 17.7 percent in the prior six sessions including Tuesday's 305 point gain S&P's gain over those six days had been 18.5% with the NASDAQ up 18.2% but once again and this is the thing that won the election for Obama and once again the larger problem is the economy people are very concerned in America about their money very concerned a report released this morning said announcements of layoffs nearly doubled in October from a year earlier. Another showed a larger than expected decline in employment. People must have jobs to have money to spend. Early futures trading suggests that U.S. markets will be stressed some more. A jury forecast from Cisco Systems is coming. The biggest maker of network equipment forecast a 5 to 10 percent decline in quarterly revenue because of rapidly declining new orders. Cisco Systems CEO John Chambers, normally one of the happiest or sunniest executives around, said the company saw new orders drop rapidly very rapidly in October. Indications since then are that the trend will continue for a while at least. The company cut its revenue forecast 5 to 10 percent from a year ago. Chambers said the business environment that Cisco is facing is the second worst in his career. The worst he said was after the dot-com bubble burst. But the second worst could surpass that one.
separately, Robert or Rupert Murdoch's News Corporation cut its full-year outlook as it posted a 30% decline in the first quarter profit. The company cited declining advertising sales at its local television stations. The company will be cutting will be cutting costs across all of its businesses, and many other businesses are cutting jobs rapidly. It's increasing at an exponential rate. A report on October job cuts from outplacement firm Challenger, Gray, and Christmas said employers announced plans to cut 112,884 workers last month, a 79% jump from the number of job cuts in just the same month a year ago. That's a very big increase in just one year. You can extrapolate that out. Well, you see the problem here. So far this year, employers have announced at least 875,974 job cuts that we know of. The fact that nearly three out of four industry categories are cutting more jobs is proof of how widely the impact of this downturn has spread and just how rapidly in such a short time. A year ago, job cuts were concentrated in the financial sector and home building industries job cuts are now rising across the board. That also tells us something very important right there. Meanwhile, a report from payroll services company ADP showed a decline of 157,000 jobs in the private sector in October, down from a revised decline of 26,000 jobs in September, and worse from economists' expectations for 102,000 October job losses. The Labor Department's October jobs report comes out on Friday. Economists are expecting it to show a loss of at least 200,000 more jobs. Once again, the job data or information, it does tell a very important story. Service sector slumps. And the other economic news, Institute of Supply Management Non-Manufacturing Index fell to a reading of 44.4 in October from 50.2 in September. That was worse than economists' expectations of 47.5. Readings below 50 indicate contraction. On Monday, the ISM Manufacturing Index slid to a 26-year low. Media giant Time Warner tumble despite meeting Wall Street estimates. The owner of Time Life Publications, Warner Brothers and Home Box Office, earned one point seven or one point zero seven billion or thirty cents per share. Yes, these are all more signs. And not long ago the Treasury Department had to twist banks' arms get them to take government money. But even now, solid banks are asking for taxpayer bailouts, handouts, or dollars. D.R. Horton sees a massive loss. Home builder D.R. Horton late Tuesday said it expects to lose between $800 million and $900 million in its fiscal fourth quarter company's sixth consecutive quarterly loss amid the housing mortgage meltdown or slump that has been plaguing the economy. The home builder also, also said home sales revenue slumped by half to $1.5 billion. The number of homes sold dropped to 6,961 in the quarter from 11,733 last year. And once again, well, it's still just the beginning. And these are definitely, absolutely more signs than times. Transition days. And yes, transition, it's already started. Yesterday was a whole lot different from today. It was a very sudden shift. Very sudden. And these are all more signs.